All right, today is uh, an exciting day. Uh, I may not look the best or sound the best. I'm actually feeling a little bit under the weather, um, but it's uh, a, an exciting day. Uh, it's miserable outside, if you can probably see through uh, the windows. But I um, made a huge decision and I can finally announce that um, I'm going to live and work uh, overseas for a short while. And when I say a short while, uh, it's around uh, 10 or so weeks uh, overseas. I'm taking the whole family. I'm going to continue my business of coaching and mentoring and all that kind of stuff from abroad. So uh, this comes with, with, uh, with huge risk because um, I started this business uh, three years ago and to be honest, it's, it's, been, a, it's been a journey and a struggle uh, at times, particularly in the first couple of years because I didn't make a great deal of money. I was rebranding myself, was trying to pick myself up uh, from a, a career that I just ended in, in for 15 years or 12 years or 13 years or so. And then to rebrand myself as a coach and as a mentor. And so you know, it hasn't been the smoothest journey. And so just so I can be clear, uh, I'm not uh, wealthy by any means. Uh, I'm, I'm not absolutely loaded. I'm trying to um, build the dream. I'm trying to live the dream of uh, being able to have choices and freedom because I think we have this adage of I'm going to do the best I can for my children and I'm going to raise them up so they can go and live the life that they want to live and you want to do things for them. But all the while, you're actually showing them and demonstrating to them that you are not actually living your life. Uh, it's you're, you're, you're showing them that you're not actually following your own dreams. The purpose of this is to tell myself and to my kids that you can dream and you can achieve, as cliche as that sounds. And that's you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, make ways of how I can pull this together. So. You know, it's, it's going to be uh, costly, but I've done a few things that have alleviated some financial stress. So for example, um, I've chosen areas in Europe um, that are very um, like easy on, on the budget and all that kind of stuff. So no ritzy hotels, um, no fancy stuff, okay? It's kind of like very rustic and all that kind of stuff. So I'm super excited and very nervous because uh, my clients as much as I, I love them I love working um, with them and they may you know hopefully they love working with me but at the end of the day they could decide that um, not having me with them is, is something that they they don't want and so they could they could drop me at the uh, you know the drop of a hat I'm gone so that's the risk that I'm prepared to take so uh, stay with me on this journey I'm gonna uh, See how it all pans out. Uh, I could can be a complete success or an absolute failure, but either way, I'm trying. I'm going to try. You know, the fear of not trying at all. Um, you know, it's it's the it's not trying at all. That's the biggest fear that you should have. Here we go. I don't know if this is going to be a great success or a great failure, but what I do know is, is that I, I do not want to go to my deathbed knowing that I could have tried and I didn't.